Hello and welcome to the big picture. In the last over 20 years, ever since the economic liberalization process began, the political discourse had turned away from rural issues to the urban and the middle class concerns had taken center stage. The political parties have increasingly realized the importance of the middle class as a vote bank and even in elections, one could see the efforts to woo them. Many have felt that this had resulted in rural issues and the farmers' issues in particular had been gradually taking a back seat. Meanwhile, in the last few years, a great deal of effort went in to bring about a, a new land acquisition, rehabilitation and resettlement law, a law which had been outdated. The difficult consensus which had been reached to bring about this law in 2013 by then UPA government is now sought to be amended, breaking that consensus. In the last few weeks, the hopelessly marginalized opposition parties after the 2014 Lok Sabha elections seem to have found an issue. The discourse suddenly changed and now we see some kind of an op opposition unity on this issue related directly to farmers. So why has the political discourse changed, what it means and is this something which will sustain? We will discuss this today with Sheshadri Chari, member national executive of the BJP, Hanan Mullah, former CPM MP and General Secretary All India Kisan Sabha, Professor Zoya Hassan, National Fellow ICSSR and a former professor in JNU and Smita Gupta, Associate Editor of the Hindu. Welcome to all of you. Mr. Shehjadri Chari, don't you think that this farmers issue, this whole land acquisition bill controversy which has been, which has been going on now for a few weeks has given some kind of, has first changed the political discourse in this country? No, I don't think uh, I don't think it has changed the political discourse of the country in any manner. If if you if, if if the argument is that because of this bill, the farmers issue has come to the fore, it is not. Unfortunately, I would have been very happy. You still you still don't think that after no, all this it has no. not it has not come back. Farmers issue has always been brought to the fore by some people or the other. We know about uh, the agitation by TICAT, we know about the agitations by so many other people also, in so many states also, not only at the central level, but at the state level also. So this has been always on the fore from, for some issue or the other, some sugarcane farmers or rice farmers, or if it is Tamil Nadu rice, if it is Maharashtra, it is onion, if it is uh, Delhi, it is something else. But the land issue is a different issue totally. Therefore. I am I'm, I'm in fact, I am sad, sad that in this all this game of politicization, politicizing the issue of uh, the land bill, we are wrongly being led to believe that the farmer's issue has come to the fore. No, the farmer's issue will come to the fore only if there is a consensus among the government and the uh, policy makers and the opposition or the political class across board on the real issues concerning farmers, like uh, providing more uh, investment in the farm sector, providing more for the farmers, uh, drought situation, water situation, land acquisition for farming, these are all broader issues on which we should be thinking and discussing instead of land issue, the, the bill per se. So I am I, I'm, 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 I'm fully for bringing the farmers issue to the fore. I am glad but you comes, don't think that but I don't think this bill is bringing the farmers real farmers issue to the fore number one number two politicization of this issue will actually instead of helping the farmers cause it is really going to hurt the farmers cause to some extent Mr. Mr. Mullah would you agree with him no I beg to differ actually after this government came to power and immediately after coming to power they decided to bring this bill Ordinance. ordinance and within seven months of a act after 120 years of battle farmers forced to change the colonial law for 120 years after that then this bill became a law it give him a trial in seven months without utilizing it whether it will create problem what experience we get whether that leads us to change without considering it within seven months of that it was totally changed. No, Before this okay. bell came... So, so he's saying that you know, this, it, this is being politicized. Politicized? They, who politicized? Who politicized? Because, because when you sell the country and interest to the corporate, to the Adani and Ambani, and lakhs and lakhs of the farmers are thrown to the um, um, earth, 
the uh, lands are being because land is their only source of living on india world mein 17 percent population hai hamara a 3 percent land hai humko sochna padega land so, kisan so, se chin nahi sakta mr is bola so would you agree that this actually this ordinance which this government has brought in and it's a focal and, point has yeah. become a focal point yes. for opposition parties to get together that also yes. uh, that because yes. all opposition yes. party was unitedly <laughs> brought this bill. so the farmer the issue was passed farmers, all opposition party was united land, so this land issue has brought the opposition together you would agree with one that one of the issue definitely okay. one of the issue definitely smita how do you look at this you know is see because we have been seeing all of us have been seeing the last 20 years except sporadic uh, discussions on farmers though, every year uh, in the parliament every session they'll uh, something will be discussed but it has not been really in focus you think the focus has changed now and it has given the opposition parties some issue to you know come That's together not, and take on the government yes certainly this issue has you know united i think majority of the opposition parties uh, it, it, it has united them for two reasons. One, because many of them actually b believe that the bill that the, B the, uh, that the BJP has brought through that ordinance uh, is, is pro-corporate and anti-farmer. But more important for any political party, this issue has actually resonated with the constituents. So you have MPs coming and saying that this has become a hot issue in all the states. In fact, even, uh, I mean, Mr. Shashadi Chari may not agree, but I, I know that even BJP MPs privately are saying that this is a very difficult issue, and which is why they are not trying to ram it through, if you notice, the government. Right. The government first wants, the BJP first wants, it has told all its leaders, it has told all its MPs, please go out and explain Extreme. to your constituents that this is not because, anti-farmer. Because, because the, the kind of... The kind of uh, uh, bravado which we had witnessed earlier, yeah. you know, we will get it passed through a joint session if necessary. That is not being spoken Yeah, now. because they know that it's politically it will harm them. They have realized that. So they first want to run a countrywide campaign. I mean, yeah, uh, Mr. Kalraj Mishra, for instance, was one of the ministers. He's written on his uh, blog, uh, website a whole piece. And he was telling me that, you know, they, are, they have all been asked to sort of defend it and explain to their constituents why it is not. Because... The government and Prime Minister Modi are very, very clear that, for the moment at least, that they do not wish to change this bill beyond those nine amendments that they moved last week. Which, which they moved Mr. in the Lok Sabha. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Chari, no, you, I, you, I, would, you, I mean, you, would you agree that your government has, has facilitated a, some kind of an opposition unity on this issue? No, I am not... And bringing, and bringing to the fore the uh, uh, farmer's issue. See, I will be very happy if there is a united opposition and if there is an issue based opposition to whatever the government does or does not do. It is the duty of the uh, opposition. Unfortunately, in the last seven or eight months, the opposition was fragmented for various reasons. There was no unity among them. And to tell you very frankly, I am the last person to believe that the entire opposition is united even on this issue, number one. Number two, the second and the most important issue here is, just as some of the BJP MPs had apprehensions about this ordinance being converted into bill without certain amendments, in June, after this the government took over, when there was a chief minister's conference, every chief minister, including the Congress chief minister, <coughs> especially from states like Maharashtra and then Haryana, had mentioned that this bill which you supported, that is the BJP supported the Congress at that time, which you supported is very good, but it needs certain amendments. Therefore, these are some of the amendments that we would suggest. So and, then, <coughs> and then, even in the case of uh, compensation, it is this ordinance that provides for a greater compensation. Okay. But yes. We will, no, we will not get into that. The government we, has made it very no, we will clear that the the we will look into it. We are not but discussing. the main question I want to still address yes. is that the issue here is opposition coming together to have its own prove its strength vis-a-vis -vis the state government is a different issue but if you think that the farmers issue has been taken up and it has come to the fore of the political discourse i'm sorry i would totally you, you would agree with that that's fine uh, zoya zoya the larger issue the larger issue of you know the, yes. what kind of political discourse that we have witnessed in this country and now what has been happening in the last few weeks, do you see a marked change? Uh, 
Uh, well, I do see a marked, uh, I do see a change. Perhaps it's too early to say that it's a marked change and that this change will be sustained. But I think there is a gradual change of na narrative. Uh, you see, the Congress Party lost the narrative in 2011 on the corruption issue. Right. It seems that the BJP government is beginning to lose the narrative within 10 months of coming to power with an absolute majority. And I think the, the change of narrative, there is a change of narrative in the sense that uh, there are a lot of things which are not going uh, the BJP way. And of course, uh, uh, the most important of them is the kind of battering that the BJP received in the Delhi elections. That defeat was, was very, very uh, significant. And I think that is the beginning of, uh, of the change. As to uh, this whole issue of land, I think it's time uh, the issues concerning the peasantry, concerning agriculture, concerning the farm farming community came center stage. As you rightly pointed out, for the past 20 years or so, there's been so much focus on, uh, on the middle class, on urban issues, on urban areas and so on. So much so that it has led to a neglect of agriculture. It's only in the last few years that there has been some improvement in agricultural growth. And I think it, it is, it would really be, uh, I mean, one can't be serious in suggesting that land bill is not central to the farming community. It definitely is. Secondly, and it is, Mr. Chari is right, that there have been many uh, 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 agricultural movements or agrarian movements over the past uh, 20 years or so, and he mentioned some of them. But I think this particular, uh, this particular agitation against the land bill is very significant because for the first time, political parties are leading the opposition. In the past, you had the BKU, then you had various other kinds of farmers' organizations in Karnataka, in Maharashtra, in Western UP, uh, in the forefront of, uh, of these campaigns and movements. Never before have political parties ranging from the center to the left, with the exception, of course, of the BSP and the BJD, uh, taken part in, in an agitation. And this, the land issue is so central. And frankly, uh, all that Mr. Chari has been able to point out in defense of, of the ordinances, they will get better compensation. But that's not the central issue. We know the central issue. Uh, there are three central issues in this. One is uh, the question of, uh, of uh, consent. The second is uh, the question of social assessment. And the third is the question of if, that if in five years uh, land that has been acquired is not utilized, uh, it right. should be returned. Right. These are the three critical issues. Compensation is very much there. And we are, we are, oh, it's very clear that the amendments that have been so far introduced have really not addressed these three core issues. Absolutely. And finally, I think the point really is that now an impression has been created and BJP is really struggling hard to live it down that it is pro-corporate, that it is a pro-rich government and that it is anti-farmer. Now, whether there is substance to it or not is not the issue. The point the is perception. that this impression has grain ground and BJP has been, a, and it's the perception and we know from Congress experience and why Congress lost the elections in 2014, so much of it had to do with perception. Right. And likewise now, there is a change of perception and the perception is that this is not a government which is concerned about sabka vikas, sabka saath, but it is a government which is really uh, a, a pro-corporate, pro-rich government and it's payback time for this government. Okay. You know, and the impression that this is, uh, and after all, let's face it, the corporate sector pro gave unprecedented support to this government, uh, to Absolutely. BJP and Modi in okay. this election. And oh. that impression has been conf uh, confirmed by, by this. the land bill, which is clearly uh, anti-farmer. Okay. I think you've made some very important points, uh, Mr. Chari. And I want both of you to, and uh, I'll bring in uh, Smita later, Mr. Mola first. You know, she, she made a very interesting observation, which for the first time in, in, in we are witnessing political parties taking interest and you know, farm on farmers' issue. Otherwise, All India Kisan Sabha would oh, be making a, yes. you know, would be, would be fighting for the cause, but the CPM was not seen to be. Uh, fighting for it. Similarly, you know, even you know, with the Kisan Union or you know, your own organizations. What is the significance of this? The significance, you know, this is a, after all in this parliamentary democracy, political party has a major role. And if we want to make any change, only street you cannot change. So you have to turn to the political parties to help the change. So if the political parties take more and more interest, through our we mass organizations fighting, 
that fight will be strengthened. Uh, strengthen. So that part is, uh, and I agree with Joya, that these major issues are not addressed. Compensation is not a major issue. Obviously. Mr. Mr. Chari, how do you react? Yeah, so, think... Would you agree that Zoya's formulation, that for the first time we are seeing political parties no, across the spectrum, except the ruling parties, of course, across the spectrum, within the opposition, getting together is something which is a cause for serious concern for the government also. No, <laughs> that's, you see, I'm, I'm again, I'm sorry for uh, repeating myself. I'm again coming back to this. Imagine a scenario where the ordinance was not brought in. Imagine, the Congress bill which was brought in, which was supported by the BJP was good enough, it goes ahead. Right. Fine. Even in that case, even that bill has a lacuna. That is the reason That's why fine. we... But if, if the ordinance... We said, no, what is the point? But, you are saying but, if the ordinance had not been government, If the government had said that, look, we take back the ordinance, which means there would have been no political opposition to that ordinance, which means there would have been no political unity, which means the unity of the opposition parties is not for the farmers as much as it is for trying to show a muscle against this government. That is the whole no, issue that's a, I am talking that's about. That's a very inter if, interesting if interpretation I'm, I'm, you are I'm, trying, I'm trying to make. To I'm, huh? I'm going a step further. Let us say we accept all the amendments that the opposition wants us to do. Let us say we take it. We go to the extent. Let us say the government tomorrow decides, well, we drop this bill altogether. Let the states pass Land Acquisition Act as per the state's requirement. After all, the central government doesn't hold government in the land anywhere yes. in the country. It is the government, land is a state subject. So let the states do anything that they want. If they want project, let the states acquire, the government will give them all the Okay, projects. so even what is the point? Even if it comes to that, even what if is it the comes point? to that, yes. does the farmer's interest really is served is the question. So you are saying that all this opposition, opposition unity, unity which you are seeing, the all this the farmers, marches to the Rashtrapati Bhavan you are seeing, all the Jantar Mantar yes, rally which you are seeing my, are my, not... My disagreement to the uh, ordinance is different. No. My disagreement so you're seeing, to all these things is different. But so you are saying, saying all this is just... Correct. Just a show and there, there is no real concern for the farmers. No, no real concern and there is not going to be real benefit for the farmers was the, it not one not half a percent of the problems of the farmers okay mr mullah would you like to react to that no because i told you know this uh, mr chari has no other way to explain this in this way <laughs> because now i heard in the parliament that don't, they are going to close the parliament because sixth is the last day of passing it so before that they will close the parliament sign die and day. then uh, re re -promulgate re -promulgate it, that yes, planning they, they get some time to convince the people so anyway whatever they got People now know it is anti-farmer uh, and anti pageants act and it will help de jeopardize the interest of the majority of the farmer. And, that and, is, and, and that this is, is some... That message and, has gone No, to and that people. message has gone and that the, the, the you, you uh, parties in the opposition space have realized this and are utilizing, exploiting this issue for, as, a, pol for, for as a political weapon. We have responsibility. As a Kisan organization, we are going to villages. We are going to... No, no, I am not talking of a Kisan union. I am talking of the, of the farmers. I am talking of the opposition they parties. They have decided the program. So we will go to the village no, also anti to counter bill, their problem. This anti-farmer bill has two sides. One is anti-farmer bill passed by the UPA and the second is the anti-farmer uh, ordinance brought out by the BJP. Both are anti-farmers. Therefore, yeah. therefore, let us imagine. <laughs> both are anti so both No, no, are, I will let me get... Are, let me get... anti-farmer clauses are there. We fought that. Yes. We all know, agree fully. But at least, at least it is better than the... There was a consensus. There was, as I said, there was a consensus. Some better, a little Smita, better. Is, See, no. no, smelly... The, the opposition parties have smelt a... Smelt... An and an, an issue on which, you know, it can be politically exploited. That is why they have come together. Would you look, would you look at it that See, like? why will a political party pick up an issue which does not resonate with the public? Uh, you know, the fact is, right or wrong, suppose one doesn't even go into the rights or wrongs, the fact is it has, you know, uh, resonated among the farming community across the country because one of the issues which Zoya pointed out, which they are objecting to, is a uh, consent clause. Yes. So the farmers feel that if we are not going to be consulted on, uh, you know, uh, whether we sh want to give up our land or not, so that, that is a farmer's issue. How can you say that it, it, it doesn't affect them? Or social impact. If, if, the, if, if by removing, uh, taking away the land, 
uh, there are there is there are environmental consequences is going to affect no, people who live there also all kinds of consequences all, all sorts of so it is an issue that is resonating which is why political parties okay you can say in their own selfish interest whatever but political parties pick up issues that resonate with people why would they pick up an issue that doesn't I, i would also like to add another thing that for the bjp unfortunately this has come at a time when you have had uh, unseasonal rain right which has affected the farmer right and urea prices have gone up so there have there's a convergence of various factors, factors that affect farmers and, and so therefore you know the land bill also is getting i think more prominent i mean the opposition to the land bill zoya zoya the you know yeah yes political exploitation political I mean, what Ch chari says yeah. is that you know the political parties are the opposition the opposition are exploiting this issue it is not going to really benefit the farmer it's only going to benefit them politically to whatever extent you know uh, political mobilization is essential in a democracy if opposition parties choose to mobilize uh, people on an issue that matters to them i, I really find this argument very strange that land land is not central to agriculture forcible transfer of land from land owners or farmers to uh, the corporate sector or to companies that is in the interest of the farming community and that you don't take their consent that is against their own uh, against their interests i find this a very ingenious i mean it's a, it's a really really strange argument and i think bjp is quite aware uh, is is uh, is very much aware that it is losing the plot when it comes to uh, c comes to this issue which is why they've they're starting on an outreach uh, program to go and convince uh, farmers that this is not uh, against their interests you see what i find very interesting is that if you look at even the finance minister arun jaitley in the beginning uh, let us say 6 months ago he talked so uh, quite straight about this government being very business friendly and ease of access uh, uh, ease of business was central whereas in the last two or three days i notice a change of of discourse even on uh, the part of uh, the finance minister who earlier said there's nothing wrong in being pro rich or pro business now he's saying that we are not pro rich we are pro rich and we are also pro poor so i think there is a realization on the part of the bjp as well that they, a perception has gained ground that they are anti farmer and that they need to do something to correct that okay. and i see nothing wrong Uh, if political parties mobilize on this okay during losing the, the plot sheshadri jari you're losing the no, plot during the run up to elections we said jai jawan jai kisan farmers has always been it was during rajnath singh tenure as agriculture minister that the farmers credit issue was brought in the farmers credit card the farmers no all team, those things are everything was are you losing so the plot now no, the question is, is no are you question, losing the plot there is no now? question of losing sight either of the agriculture sector or the industrial sector the industrial sector performance has been abysmal in the last 10 no, no, years therefore no, no, mr chari my question no, no mr chari my question there can be no industry without land no no the, all and that is believe no, that no, believe no, that can i make one five uh, percent of the rural one second one second zoya 65 percent of the rural population depends no no all the these all these factors. all these are well known therefore, my question therefore, is this the issue here is the are you losing is, the plot we have to not at all we have to we have to make a balance between the agriculture center uh, sector and the industry sector equally but all the these are fine you know every this. all of us know the, know this the issue the, here is no we have not lost the plot we are trying to convince the nation we are convinced to trying to you are trying not to lose also, the plot no No, it's the question of losing plot is not there at all. Okay, it, let me get. Not uh, the issue in democracy. Okay, the let me. Uh, democracy is to get things done for the betterment of the people with maximum consensus and minimum confrontation. That was that was the, that was that is the, that is where the problem lies. Maximum consensus has not been evolved so far. No, yes, no, Zoya. No, 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 Zoya, you wanted to come in, please. You see, I think one of the larger issues at the heart of this debate is. that there are different sectors and there are different uh, categories and groups you have uh, you have business and industry you have farmers you have middle class interests and so on i think this uh, the struggle for the land bill is really a struggle for if you like uh, uh, equity between different groups in the economy and society there is an impression that this government is so pro industry and so so pro, uh, pro business that it is ignoring uh, it it thinks it can ignore 
uh, the interests of the farming community. And that is why it has come up. And I think the second critical issue is that uh, we, BJP could have made this case that there is need to, uh, to amend this, uh, the land bill if this had been implemented for two or three years. Act, this, that is, that uh, is the, the point. Uh, the UPA, uh, or rather the earlier right. land bill, has not... Absolutely. The that's land the bill has not been given an opportunity to be implemented. Right, that's what Mr. Mullah... argue that Maharashtra Chief Minister of the Congress is saying that there's not... It, yeah, that's... Yeah, I mean, that's, the, that, that's exactly the point. That's the point. And then say, well, it's not working. That's the point Mr. Mullah made right at the, right the beginning. Uh, uh, Smita, hmm. you, you see any recalibration as, uh, as far as the government is concerned apart? Now, now that, uh, you know, they, they're not going to... They'll, they'll not be able to get this bill passed the ordinance will lapse on April 5th. Do you see a possibility of them not re-promulgating the audience and, uh, ordinance and then trying to work out some kind of a consensus? Or do you think that re-promulgating the or ordinance, because re-promulgating the ordinance can give the opposition party which have already got together, you know, another chance to, to continue their agitations? Well, so far, uh, you know, uh, what is being said is that they will re-promulgate the ordinance, but perhaps, you know, after this, uh, the meeting with the president, they may have second thoughts. I, I really don't know the answer to that. But I think what we will see, apart from this outreach campaign of the BJP, is perhaps you will see announcements from this government on the agriculture sector, you know, other sort of uh, welfare measures or, you know, Something to, to improve to balance, balance, to balance, it, balance the balance situation. It out. Mr. Chari, would you, would you would, do you think that repromulgating the ord ordinance at this stage can can prove can may not prove beneficial to the no, to, to the government as well as, as the BJP? No, unlike Smita, I am not part of the government. I don't. No, I'm she's not also privy. not part. I'm not privy. I'm not privy to number of things that the government See, may you're do or may not be do. more privy than you. <laughs> no, <laughs> but but I think I think I think the issue here is if the government in its wisdom decides that let us build a consensus on this issue, I think the government should and probably can do it. The Prime Minister in his speech in Parliament has amply clarified this. He has gone to the extent of saying that you bring up all the amendments that you want and we are prepared to consider. To that extent, the Prime Minister has gone. I think beyond this, you cannot expect the government to lie low on any of the issues that the government thinks is good for the people. After all, this government has come with the mandate of 282 seats. Therefore, on that issue, I think this government is duty-bound to do the maximum good for the maximum people. You are not committing yourself to what should be done. You are not okay, committing can, yourself can to I what just, should be done. Yes. Uh, say something. Yes, it's true that the Prime Minister said all those things on the floor of Parliament. But the ministers themselves are saying right now, and even they have been in conversation with opposition MPs, they have been trying to convince them that what, uh, you know, the bill that is there right now, the one that was passed in the Lok Sabha, is the final product. So I really don't see, uh, you know, much changes happening. Much I mean, it may happen six months down the line. Down or something. The line. Mr. Mullah, very quickly, yeah, very you, quick. think, you, think, you think that as long as this, this issue remains and without the government yielding to some of the demands which you people are making, it will, it will keep the opposition united, but will it be sustained? Will this opposition unity be sustained? Will this discourse which has moved from, you know, uh, urban middle class issues to farmers' issues sustained? I think this unity will continue. If the government withdraw in the bill and go back to the old bill, there may be some situation may change. But if the government, because no amendment was taken in the uh, Lok Sabha, the only government's amendment. Right. So Rajya Sabha, they will take that in the chance. So because of that, I think government is determined uh, to pass so the we... bill because they are committed to those okay. uh, corporate. Okay. And so we will that, give you so cheap that, land. So that means that means that this this issue will continue, continue. to be uh, you know prominent in this country and hopefully because of this the, the, the real issues of the farmers which Mr. Shahjadi Chari spoke about and many others spoke about will hopefully come back come come to focus. Thanks to all my guests. Uh, please keep watching. We'll come back with another issue.